So our gas undergoes the process T is equal to T naught plus alpha V. We need to find the heat capacity of the gas as a function of volume and heat if volume increases from V1 to V2. So we'll use our standard process for finding heat capacity by writing our standard energy equation dq is equal to du plus pdv. So from here we get c which we need to find is equal to this plus pdv by n naught dt. So we need a term of dv by dt. So we just differentiate this and from here we get the value of dt by dv to be alpha. So we put that here and we need to get rid of pressure because we need the heat capacity as a function of volume. So we'll write P is N naught RT by V and temperature again we'll write as T naught plus alpha V. So now we have got the heat capacity in terms of volume. Simplifying that we get our answer. So here's quite obviously heat capacity is variable. It's a function of volume. So we cannot directly write the heat as and not C delta T. So here the volume is varying from V1 to V2 and here we have got heat capacity as a function of volume. So that simplifies our process. So DQ is N naught C dt. So from here we know dt is alpha dv. So now we just integrate everything on the right is as a function of volume. So limits from V1 to V2 and we will get our answer.